I need a step ladder to get in there. Now that is an absolute work of art. Then I guess a lot of these people do it for the passion. Looks the absolute nuts. You can just see the amount of work that's gone into this car. Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardi Security. I'm here with Palm, and you know where we are. SEMA 2023, Las Vegas, baby. Now, there's a big difference this year. We've actually brought Jason with us because last year's video was a little bit ropey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but this year's video is going to be absolutely brilliant because Jason's going to do an amazing job of putting it together. So hang tight and Ready? let's go through some of the highlights at SEMA 23. Guys, we're outside the main center. Central Hall, North Hall is behind me. We're just going to take a walk around, show you some cool stuff. When we see something that is extra cool, we'll stop. I think everything. We'll I think everything's extra cool here, but it's impossible. It's got to be extra, it. extra cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my God! Look at this. Oh. So this is like a time attack. Look, yeah, Camaro. Right. I was going to say it looks like a time attack car. Optima batteries, sponsored by. That's pretty. That's pretty badass. <laughs> oh my word. So yeah, there's a few changes on this particular kit. It's all been blended into the wings where our one's still got the rivets in it. Uh, there's normally fins in there. They've obviously been deleted. Twin turbo. Look at the size of those monsters. When it comes to trucking, and we will show you a lot of trucks. Look at this insane Dodge Ram here. Obviously got some sort of lift kit on there. And uh, see the size of these wheels. 28s. Dude, I need, I need a step ladder to get in there. Would you have a truck like this with like the classic patina look, like a street sleeper type thing? Or would you have a full on mint, full on show spec, flawless build? I'm torn between that. And then obviously you come round to the engine and it's just like immaculate. Listen, we've all seen the GR Yaris. Let's check out a GR Corolla, man. Check it, that looks pretty cool, man. Okay, one thing I'm not sure about are the three exhausts. When two doesn't quite cut it, add a third one. <laughs> RX-7 with a Rocket Bunny kit. They're quite popular, these Rocket Bunny kits. Yeah, it's big business out here by the looks of it. Listen. We'd totally get screwed in the UK for this fitment. But in the US, anything goes. That's coming out quite a lot. Oh yeah. Isn't it? I'm sure if you were to get tugged by traffic police, but PG9 straight, boom, done. We've got Larry Chen and Kaisel. Um, Signing autographs there. Pretty crazy actually. So, Palm, what are you saying? 240Z? Let's find one, man. The problem with uh, everything classic now is the prices have shot up. So, or oh, anything that's over 40 years old. Difficult, but I think we could find one which maybe needs some work. We don't mind getting involved. In, you know, we've done that quite a, quite a few times over the last year or so, restoring cars. But I think, guys, would you reckon bring a 240Z to Cass? 
put our own cast touch on it. Obviously, it's going to have to have air. So I'll put it out there, guys. If anyone knows of a 240Z for sale, left-hand drive, right-hand drive, don't really care. Drop us a DM, send us an email. Uh, Details are down below in the description. Um, don't mind if it's a project car. Don't want something that's a rust bucket. Let us know. We'd love, lovely to get one of those on the cast fleet. Check this black Chevy C10 truck out. Now, this one's real trick. So, you've obviously got the super smooth engine bay in the front, and then if you come into the back, I would never have ever thought of this. There's two humongous turbos that have been mounted in the back. Mate, it's just like, how do people think of this stuff? This is just crazy. And then obviously we follow on all the way to the uh, airlift hardline install. Now that, is an absolute work of art that is flawless such a nice clean build only in america i think this is the only one i've seen there's more g series than i think this is the only united two i've seen here Pretty cool track Something else build. that is only for the US market, a bit like the uh, GR Corolla, is Ford Bronco. Ten trucks I walk past, the better they get. We're actually in the central hall right now. Um, we're heading over to airlift, but just stumbled across this absolute beauty. So guys, check it out. <laughs> We've got Chiro here. You saying? Yes. He's a bit worse for wear because amazing. he was out till early hours. Last night was. Halloween. Halloween. Fremont Street is usually freak night every day of the week, but on Halloween, it's another level. So this, Chira, absolutely amazing. So I'm going to give you 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Roll it off. Talk to me. 5,172 miles from Milton Keynes to SEMA. $250,000 build sheet. Petrodes and Performance put the engine together. Alpha Performance Fabrications did all the fabrication, the downpipes. We've got BC Racing coilovers. We've got Advan style three spokes by 6AD uh, forged wheels with the uh, three piece ultra hypercar level carbon fiber going throughout the car. It all lines up by elite carbon composites. Pennings with the paintwork is a Lamborghini Pearl Nero Granitas with extra fleck. It's absolutely astonishing. Dave the trimmer finished it off with a Porsche inspired hen's tooth interior, which I really wanted, and that Alcantara beige is phenomenal. And then Raj gave the finishing touch with the six steering wheel. Yes, so he's now become a builder, so probably next year you'll see him in the Builder Series because I know he's talking about uh, building a fresh car for SEMA 2024 and maybe we can partner up and do something on that as well as we did with the steering wheel, but this time we might do something a bit more. Lenny over there, we'll, oh, we'll, look, look. look at that trim right. beard. Look how, try, look how good he looks. Although like. we did have a few GTs <laughs> last time. We're filming this car because it's so awesome because the best bit is the, the steering, steering wheel, wheel that I supplied. Is yeah. that right? That's yeah. the right. best bit. I sat in it when we got the seats and stuff. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> steering I mean, wheel is shocking. It's a very, very cool steering wheel. Well, you can't sure, go anywhere without I'm a sure, steering wheel. I'm sure my nan had one in a Ford Cortina. <laughs> Are you comparing him to your nan? <laughs> 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 All right, guys, so that's, that's Lenny, but well, that's Chiro. I'll leave you to it. Yeah. Cheers, His bro. details are on the screen. Make sure you give him a follow, and hopefully we can work with him on a project for 2024. Amazing, awesome, thank mate. you, bro. Well done. Thank you.
guys, we are here for Seaman. Obviously, we've shown you a lot of car stuff, but remember, we are car audio security, and we're going to bring some audio to the channel. So I'm on the Rockford Fosgate booth. We are the UK distributor for Rockford Fosgate, and there's a lot of products that we do stock, but guys, just check these out. T1 sub, T2 sub, check out this T3 19 inch sub. I'm here with Richard. How's it going, man? Uh, T3 19 inch sub. That's correct. It is badass, isn't it? It is. What kind of power is. is this? We generally power this thing with a 2500. It'll take 2500 per coil. Pretty large size box you need for one of these, don't you? Uh, you're upwards of uh, four cubic feet Okay. to start. So uh, I'm not going to attempt to lift this because I've already got, <laughs> done my neck in on the plane. So this is probably 35 kilograms, maybe? 75 pounds. Yeah, so I'm about right, 35 kilograms. Yep. Rockford in the US, business is massive. There's a lot of Jeep business, there's a lot of Correct. marine business as well. And you've got the Polaris, which we don't really get in the UK. So thank you for that. No problem. Appreciate that. No problem, Raj, give, thank you. Give Rockford some love on the channel. Just to give you an idea of the size of this hall, we're in North Hall now, and majority of this half of the hall is audio. So Rockford's on the far side, we've got Sony here. We've got JVC Kenwood on one side as well. On the far left, we've got Audison, Kicker over here, and over there is Powerbase. So let me show you an amazing Impala on the Powerbase stack. Let's head on over there now. Guys, this is Eric from Powerbase. What's happening? Who said car audio is dead? It's definitely not dead. It's, it's definitely, definitely alive and kicking. <laughs> this is a 1961 Impala SS, is that correct? Correct. What's so special about this car? Well, this car was built by Mirage Customs. The frame's been lined and everything to keep it nice and quiet. We put 315s in the trunk and a band pass. Wow. It's all pro audio in the front. DSP controlled, so it's tuned precisely with our XMA amplifiers. And then special for the show, they just dropped in the new motor three weeks ago. And look how great it turned out. Three weeks ago? Three weeks ago. It's a proper SEMA build that is the finish it the day before SEMA. Now, I know some of you have been asking us at CAS for a base build. And guess what, guys? We've just started on one. It's gonna have power-based products. Some of those products that Eric has mentioned are in this Impala. I'm not going to tell you the car yet. It'll drop on the channel pretty soon. So that's pretty exciting for 2024 that we'll have another base vehicle on the fleet. It won't be as good looking as this, but you know how we do things. The car will look the part. It'll be slammed on the floor, obviously, because Palm's getting involved. But yeah, Eric, this is just stunning. Guys, what do you think of that? Stunning, isn't it? a brand in the UK that is absolutely smashing it. A bit like Cass, really, <laughs> but they don't do car audio. They're an automotive brand, is Urban Automotive. And I'm here with what I would class as the face. I don't want to be controversial, but what I would class as the face of Urban. New vehicle sales, brand ambassador, Done tea maker, car, like yeah. a little bit of everything. That's a bit like me then. Yeah. <laughs> I make coffee though, I don't really make tea. Yeah, but you're the governor, I'm just an employee, I'm a payee. Um, <laughs> so here with Lenny and they've got two urban vehicles here, which haven't been shipped from the UK. They're actually US cars. They've been built in LA by our, our partners, Platinum Group. Um, absolutely incredible. Obviously, Vossen 24 inch wheels, collaboration with them. Uh, we're on the Miltech Corp stands, um, who have you know, great hospitality. Yes. Thank you to them. But yeah, yeah so that we're launching these two cars. So the new Range Rover, we'll start with this, because it's a really exciting time for us, because we're known for the, the Sport and Vogue, or the Sport and Full Size. So to have a new product out is, you know, is, is fantastic. So you us. supply all the carbon bits, so it's a brand new front end. So full replacement carbon fiber front bumpers. We've always done that. A lot of our competitors just do overlays. So yep. they use the OEM bumper and just do like a splitter over the top. This is a full carbon fiber replacement bumper. Um, 
wider arches, carbon side skirts. So what size wheels did you say here? These are 24 inch. And again, not messing collab- around. <laughs> yeah, 20, 24 inch Ford collaboration with Vossen, carbon fiber rear bumper as well. Wow. So this is really cool. This is the first car that we've built. Hold on, you haven't built a car like this? This is the first one. So it's the yeah. first kit, first the kit. first car first that's car. been built. Yeah, wow. so yeah. So that's then That's amazing. We're going to build one in the UK and then hopefully customer kits on the ground January, February sort of time. All right, let's go on to the Ghost. Yeah, so the, I absolutely love this. Now, it's Simon went over to see the Platinum guys in LA a few months yeah. ago and they said, you need to do a Ghost kit. And we were like, it's not going to be that popular in the UK, but you know, we're not just thinking about the UK anymore. We know this is going to be really Global popular Global branding. And it just, this is my new favorite. I, we, we obviously did the Cullinan kit, which has been very, very popular internationally. Um, but yeah, I lo- and I'm glad you've gone that side because the silver wheels, the polished face wheels on this, looks mm. absolutely incredible. Yeah, I'm a fan of silver wheels. To be fair. I'm yeah. not a fan of black well, wheels. Well, you see the size, didn't you? Yeah, you see yeah. the size more. And again, carbon fiber replacement bumper. This is done in forged carbon this time. I noticed that. Um, yeah, and obviously 24 inch uh, forged Vossen urban alloys, carbon down the side, and again, carbon rear bumper just and diffuser. It stunning just looks car. beautiful, doesn't it? The, the fitment car. is absolutely perfect. The stance is absolutely perfect. Yeah, and can I, you, I can love Can you believe this. he just used the word stance on a Rolls Royce Ghost? I know, I know. You know, I we know. use that word on a Mark 7 Golf what? Or, a, or, a, or a G80 BMW. What a time he, to be alive, eh? using it on a Ghost. Cool. Appreciate Lovely your time. To see you, bro. Thank nice you. Nice you know, A lot of love for these guys because they're absolutely smashing it in the UK and it's nice to see a British brand doing exceptionally well over the pond in the US. Uh, Lenny's details and Urban's details are on the screen. I'll then be in the description below. Make sure you give them a follow. Lovely. We're in the Hoonigan section, uh, which is where wheel pros are also based. So we've got a mix of trucks, slam trucks, Jason Whipple's 993 on my left hand side. Let's have a look around. Guys, Toyo tires tread pass, one of the highlights of SEMA 2023. In fact, it was one of our highlights of 2022. And guys, wait till you see the cars in here. So I'm not gonna talk about every car here because I think there's about 20 cars here and this will be one really long video. So we'll select a few cars. Let's start with the first car here. This Mark VI Golf GTI. Now you're probably thinking, it doesn't look like a Mark VI. Well, it is a one of one body kit. We actually had a chat with the owner on Monday before the show opened. And uh, he bought this as a stock Mark VI Golf. And him and his friends have done most of the work themselves. He's a young guy, details on the screen now, typical Steven. Um, but what a build. I mean, just look at the engine bay, stripped out interior. He's got fuel cell in the back. It's just one amazing build. Oh my word. Just look at the intensity of it. It's just. But where do you start? You know, there's so much to talk about. Yeah, but the problem is, cars. when you start doing a build like this, where do you start then? Where do you stop? Can I say hi? I just watched your YouTube oh. channel. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Here to be my car. Oh, this? So, yeah, we shipped to the nah, States really? and uh, they built that car. What, so, what like, is it underneath? It's like a GT3 race car. Okay. And it's a M120 engine. Bugatti used. No. So this guy developing these engines and uh, now he reached like more, more power and more everything than Pagani did. His engine... Uh, Zero two. Last year, if you saw a Mazda RX-7 with yep. Pogan engine, yes. the same guy, he's building these engines. Pom, I think this is a 612 Scagliati. I think that's the way you pronounce it. My Italian is not that great. Now, this is obviously very controversial. Very Miami Vice, I think, to be fair. Uh, white with that 
turquoise interior. Would you call that turquoise? Tiffany blue. Um, it's, it's, but a, yeah, it's, it's a Charlie car. <laughs> For those of you who don't know Charlie, this is his car on the screen. <laughs> this is the Charlie car. So yeah, Charlie, this is going to be your next project, dude. If you look on this side, this, this is a 612 TR. Listen, I don't know where people get their ideas from, but this is, <laughs> this is next level. Look at the attention to detail. Look at that. That is crazy. Wow, the details on this. I know. Where do people get the idea? It's like... It's like engineer meets designer meets car enthusiast yeah. meets somebody with deep pockets. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. Guys, you know I'm a Ford guy. Let me show you a Ford. Come this way. It's running an inline four Ford EcoBoost engine. And I think it's pushing about 450 brake horsepower to the rear wheels only. So it's a rear wheel drive car. A ton of modifications has gone into it. I think it looks pretty cool. You check out the interior as well, the Recaro interior. Palm, BMs, yeah. E30s. Oh no, come on, man. Check There's it. not that, you know what? There's not actually not that many here this year. So E30, four door, CA tune badges on the back. Uh, it's obviously on air. In fact, let me take it back. It's on airlift. It's not just on air. It's on airlift. Yeah. Airlift <laughs> controller, interior redone, paintwork obviously redone. This car, you can see it's a full wrestler job. All the perishables, all the trims, everything is fresh. Body kit fits absolutely perfect. The MTech 2 body kit. What a car. And check out the number plate. Right, so there's something very special here. Um, this E36. It's an M3 that BMW never actually yeah. made. Belongs to Marv underscore GTS. Last year he was here with his uh, wide body Pandem 8 series E31. This year he's built an E36 estate or E36 wagon. Now this has got an S54 M3 engine in it. Pandem body kit, full roll cage, rebuilt heart the wheels, um, obviously stepped up. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Very cool. So, Palm, Nissan 240s, I know. they are everywhere here, they look, they everywhere. Look, they look naughty, don't they? They do, they do. And some are without body kits, some are with body kits, some are slammed, some are running um, proper coilover suspension. They all look the nuts. And this Hot Wheels inspired on air Z with the Rocket Bunny kit looks absolutely insane. Guys, doesn't this look stunning? Proper retro, isn't it? And yeah. supercars, you know, there are supercars at SEMA. There's a, a McLaren 720S. 720? 720, full Inzotec wrap on it. Um, it's been wrapped by Impressive Wrap. I've seen quite a few wraps by Impressive Wrap and they look pretty impressive. Really, <laughs> really good wrap work. Now, controversial. It's RX-7, huh? yeah. Um I'm not so sure about this body kit because you can still see the lines here of the rear. You can still see the RX-7. It just looks a little bit weird here. Front I think, looks aggressive. But I think that's the boxy kind of design of it. Mm. And uh, to be fair, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Yeah? Yeah. I'm a little bit unsure on the back. You would be. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> the thing is with something like that, you've got to build it in mind that you're probably never going to end up selling it. Yeah. Realistically, it's going to be a very small market, very, very small market, not even a handful. Um, so, you know, when you do something like that, Exactly. But then I guess a lot of these people do it for the passion, for the, mm. you know, the... For the Instagram followers. Just being honest. <laughs> so guys, check this out. 1997 Supra, Toyota Supra, with a Varis body kit. Um, Instagram handle, Pikachu Pika. Check him out, he's got some serious JDM cars. Pikachu. Oh, sorry, what did I say? Pikachu. Okay. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu, Pika. I reckon a, a stock mid 90s Supra now, 25, 30,000 pounds in the UK. And then obviously you've got to add your body kit and so on. And not forgetting one of my favorite all time steering wheels, Momo Prototipo. I remember working on these cars back in the 90s when they came out. Yeah, they were two, two to the penny, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. There aren't many Mercs here. But, but, but the ones that are are just on another <laughs> level. Check out this 190E over here, guys. I reckon it's a 
2.3 16-valve Cosworth. Now, the engine bay was open earlier on, but I didn't have a look, and Jason did say it's got throttle bodies on there. So I'm making a little bit of an assumption on that. Left-hand drive, possibly dogleg box. Evo body kit on KW suspension. I know that because there's a little KW sticker here. That interior is just absolutely amazing. However, one thing I have noticed on the back, it does say 2.616 actually, which would mean then it's a 2.5 16 valve non Cosworth. So I'm wrong. So it's a 2.6 board, 2.5 board out to 2.6 with throttle bodies. Looks the absolute nuts. You can just see the amount of work that's gone into this car. Totally different to mine, by the way, guys, because mine's running like a bag of shit. Although it looks very clean, just running horrible. There's already a couple of chasers in the UK doing the rounds. They've actually really grown on me. I think they look really good. But listen, I want to show you something. Look at the detail on the paint work on the roof. I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up on the camera, but look, yeah, that's painted. Looks like maybe Misha might have done that. <laughs> yeah, serious amounts of work. G80 M4. Hold on. 82. G80 is the M3 four door okay. saloon. 82 is the uh, two door M4 coupe. Okay. And the 80, what, G81? G81 is a touring. Touring. Yeah. So I just got yeah. school there, guys. Um, um, this is. Look at, look at the Recaro seats in this. Full, full carbon seats. With Probably weigh next to nothing. Padding. Yeah. Really, they look so nice, man. Very What nice. body kit's on this? I'm pretty sure it's, Ad yeah, it's an Adro body kit. Um, they're pretty big in the US, actually. Um, Prazis, Struts, is, is it on air? Yeah, it's on air, yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you think of the steering wheel? Yeah, I'm going to get one. So he's lost his airbag, though? Yeah. Controversial again? Who cares? Yeah, who cares? We, we love a bit of con con controversy. This is wild. A bit too wild, I think. But yeah, I, I, I'm not sure I'd have the minerals to do something like this. Mm. Yeah, all the budget. So guys, that's the end of our coverage of SEMA. 2023 we are absolutely smashed 20 odd thousand steps for the last three days Tired. every day yeah but per day for the last three days <laughs> okay let's just expand on that yeah we've shown you a lot in this episode and there's probably a lot that we've missed out on if there's anything that you wanted to see and we haven't shown you maybe drop us a dm and next year 2024 remember the scale of this show is just impossible to get everything in but hopefully we've shown you enough to uh, give you that feeling of what SEMA kind of is about yeah um, a few questions I've asked you truck is the biggest should we bring a truck to the channel second question I've asked you guys is 240Z just in love with those there's obviously a lot of new cars here you've seen a load of GRs and so on and so on but 240Z classic car really and also are you actually serious about that you let's comply what it's, it's over 40 years old oh yeah yeah okay there we go guys we've shown you a lot of cars a lot of trucks what's been the car of our event video for you drop a comment below um it's too hard to choose for me and in fact i'm going to reflect and i'm going to leave a comment down below in the description or i'm just going to leave a comment actually as a as raj sanger um I don't know about you, can you remember what, what we've seen today? How many cars you get today, yesterday? Jason was saying to me earlier, he's going to ask me what was my favourite car of the show. And I, I said to him, listen, that's not fair. Yeah, you, can't, not fair. you cannot ask that question at this show. It, there's just so many. Make sure you support the Slam Sanctuary brand. We've got the latest t-shirt there, the Slam Hotline t-shirt with my 964. And we've got the Slam Airlift T here as well. So make sure you support the brand. Uh, description below there's a link to slam sanctuary and you've got the instagram details on the screen um, make sure you give it a thumbs up smash the like button i'll leave the rest to you make sure you like share and subscribe there you go as always he knows what he's talking about yeah boy. guys thanks for watching what an amazing show um, if you do ever get the opportunity to come see me grab it 
grab that bull by the horns and get here because you will not be disappointed. Be prepared, it's a lot of walking and there's no way you can do this show in one day. You need three days. End of. And the fact, and to think that all of this is happening in the middle of a desert. Amazing. Crazy. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out. See you soon.